Hi everyone, my name is Novelin Faith Barsema. Hi, my name is Neil. Hi everyone, I'm Aldrich A. O'Hara and this video gonna explain to you the books Nature's Numbers 8th chapter Do Dice Play God. We are gonna discuss how power of mathematics applies to prediction and different occurrences in the universe. So let us start by defining what is determinism? Determinism is the philosophy that all events, whether including inanimate matter or conscious human beings like us, are all predicted by previous events. So in other terms, determinism claims that if you knew the physical state of the universe at a matter of time completely, including all the physical laws, then you will be able to predict what will happen in the future. The intellectual legacy of Isaac Newton was a vision of the clockwork universe. Clockwork universe compares the universe to a mechanical clock, wound up by God and ticking along with its gears covered by the laws of physics. In 1812, Pierre Simon de Laplace published his analytic theory of probabilities wherein he stated that an intellect with which any given moment knew all the forces that animate nature and the mutual positions of the beings that compromise it, if this intellect were vast enough to submit its data to analysis, could condense into a single formula the movement of the greatest bodies of the universe and that of the lightest atom. For such an intellect, nothing could be uncertain, and the future, just like the past, would be present before its eyes. Laplace successfully accounted for all the observed deviations of the planets from their theoretical orbits by applying Isaac Newton's theory. He developed a conceptual view of evolutionary change in the structure of the solar system, and he demonstrated the usefulness of probability for interpreting scientific data. Probability The extent to which something is likely to happen. The formula for probability is the number of possibility of event divided by the number of total possibility. Probability refers to prediction of events, which points us to determinism. The two theories under determinism are the classical mechanics and quantum mechanics. Let us start by quantum mechanics. It was this view of quantum indeterminacy that prompted Einstein's famous statement in a letter to his colleague Max Born that he believed in a God who plays dice and I in complete law and order. Quantum mechanics describes that the occurrences in the universe are unpredictable due to hidden variables explaining why random events could happen at any time. In physics, hidden variable theories are proposals to provide deterministic explanations of quantum mechanical phenomena through the introduction of unobservable hypothetical entities. Quantum mechanics explains how everything works. The best description we have of the nature of the particles that make up matter and the forces with which they interact. Next is the classical mechanics. Classical mechanics is the mathematical study of the motion of everyday objects and the forces that affect them. Classical mechanics is often called Newtonian mechanics because nearly the entire study builds on the work of Isaac Newton, specifically the laws of motion. Let us discuss the three laws of motion. The first law are the law of inertia. A body at rest will remain at rest, and a body in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon by an external force.
The second law is the law of acceleration. It pertains to the behavior of objects for which all existing forces are not balanced. The third law is the law of interaction. A force is a push or a pull that acts upon an object as a result of its interaction with another object. Forces result from interactions. Classical mechanics, events are continuous, which is to say they move in smooth, orderly, and predictable patterns. However, there is a thing called chaos. Chaotic behavior pertains to the random appearance of something owing to great sensitivity to small changes in conditions. Chaotic behavior may appear random, but it doesn't disprove the theory of classical mechanics. Let us discuss the chaotic theory. This is a part of mathematics which explains the randomness of such behavior. It looks at certain systems that are very sensitive. Chaotic systems are an intimate mix of the two. From the outside, they display unpredictable and chaotic behavior, but expose the inner workings and you discover a perfectly deterministic set of equations sticking like clockwork. Thank you so much for watching.